Hello, my name is Peter Parfit, and for those that know my videos, seeing a brand new sustainer on the workbench means only one thing. I've just taken delivery of a brand new piece of equipment, and I have here the Festool TS55R circular saw. It's brand new, it arrived today, and I'm going to tell you all about it. It was a struggle to get it. I even offered to buy a demo machine uh, from a dealer but he was having none of it, and so I had to wait my turn. But it's arrived now, so here we go. Right, let's check out what comes with the bear machine. I've only ordered the basic model because I already have a selection of guide rails. But if you don't have any guide rails, get the kit which includes the 1400mm guide rail because it represents good value for money. Now, in the box, you get the machine itself, you get your operating manual, and you get your guarantee information. Let me just tell you about the guarantee. Some people don't realise that provided you register your machine, the guarantee period is extended from one year to three years, at no cost. That guarantee also covers you against the theft of your machine. If it's stolen, for a small handling charge, Festool will replace the machine. Now, in here, I'm just taking out a clear plastic window, you'll see exactly where it goes in a minute, a splinter guard, and in front of me I've got the plug it cord, which is the standard cord used on most of the Festool machines. Let me give you a very quick guided tour of the machine. And I'll start with those things that have not changed. The motor unit is the 1200 watt motor found on the TS55, which has proved to be so reliable it is bang up to date and uses the latest technology. Speed setting from 2000 to 5200 RPM is done with the same dial here. The blade is the same as its predecessor at 160mm diameter and so all of your previous blades are compatible with this saw. Blade changing is exactly the same as it is with the rest of the Festool Circular Saw range, using the fast fix method. The saw runs on the same guide rails as the rest of the Festool family of circular saws. Dust extraction from a port at the rear, on-off switch, exactly the same as before and of course the plug-it cable which I've already mentioned before. Now let's cover the new features of the saw and I'm going to start with this dual depth of cut gauge here. On the left is the gauge you would use if the saw is sitting on the surface of the wood that you're cutting and on the right is the scale you would use if you are using the guide rail and all you do is simply Dial in the depth of cut you require using whichever scale is relevant and away you go. You can fine tune the calibration of the depth of cut using this control here and easily get within 0.1 of a millimetre. That's particularly useful after a blade change or when a blade has been resharpened or if you want to get those really precise cuts which only just break the surface of the wood on the far side. At the front here you have the inclination gauge, which rather than going from 0 to 45, now goes from minus 1 to 47. And that is a great feature if you're working in old buildings where nothing is square. And in order to get that extended range, there is a green knob here which you pull out in order to go below 0 or above 45. Now, on this side of the saw, you can see the new riving knife, which is much bigger than its predecessor. This gives you more stable cuts and allows you to resume cuts after having stopped. And that means that when you do resume the cut, there is less chance of any sign of where the cut was restarted. Here you can see a sighting window made of clear plastic, which goes where the splinter guard would fit. And this allows you to do stopped cuts up to a pencil line and you can do them very accurately indeed. And there's even a little calibration mark which shows you where, if the blade was at its full depth, where the cut would end. Now the whole of this surface has been redesigned, so it's perfectly flat, 
which allows you to get very close to a vertical surface, like a wall or skirting board. And I've done a test and I can show that you can get within 9mm of any vertical surface. And along with that, they have redesigned the airflow through this area to improve dust collection. Let's now see how the salt performs. We're going to try a little experiment which mimics the film that you may have seen that Festival produced of this saw cutting melamine on top of another melamine sheet and the sheet below appears not to be damaged. This piece of wood is 20 millimetres thick and I've stuck a piece of masking tape underneath. I've set the vernier scale, I've set that up and that should be dead right for this saw blade and I've set the um, scale here on 20, on, that's on the uh, guide rail so side of the scale. And we're going to see whether we can leave that bit of masking tape behind, or at least some of it. to be honest, that there is just here, now because this is a rip blade, you know, I think that that is pretty jolly accurate. If I pull it away, that is a clean cut, that is a clean cut, and all that was happening was the tiny bit of wood stuck to here between the two bits of the angle of the saw blade has come away as well. So that proves to me that that advertisement is spot on. It can be done. Right, the next thing we're going to uh, have a go at cutting is this melamine covered chipboard. And this is the most awful stuff to cut. Uh, this piece is uh, just over 16 millimetres thick and I've set up the the cutting depth here uh, accordingly. Uh, I have lowered uh, the chip guard here on this side and uh, let's see how good a cut we can generate. This stuff is pretty hit and miss because of the chipboard below, but that is a beautiful sharp edge on the piece that I'm effectively throwing away. And let's just check the other side, and the other side is absolutely perfect on top and absolutely perfect below. And the next test is this pretty thick piece of Formica uh, covered worktop, and I'm just going to run that through. I've set the saw to the appropriate thickness and everything's set up and we'll give that a quick go as well. Now you'll notice that the only dust that gets created is at the very end of the cut when the saw blade is breaking through the far end and that is pretty typical of Festool. And there we have the piece that I'm, I had on this side is absolutely perfect. And the piece here is absolutely perfect too. And that could be on display in the kitchen with absolutely no problem at all. Perfect. What I'm now going to demonstrate is cutting right up against the vertical surface. And this could be a skirting board or a wall. Um, and I'm going to do a cut along here, and you're going to see just how close uh, the TS55R can get. nice clean cut, it's gone through. I didn't take it all the way along and there's no need for this demonstration. Now in all of the 
manufacturer's bump from Vestal, it says you can cut within 12 millimetres of a wall. Well, the dimension I'm interested in when I'm doing a cut is the distance from the wall to the nearest side of the cut to the wall. And I'm going to measure that now because I've done this before, and it's a fraction over 9 millimetres. So the actual, for me, the actual planning distance is 9 millimetres, not 12, as quoted by Festal. So in other words, this is even better uh, than they state on their website. Well, now it's time for me to tell you what I think about this saw. Before I buy anything, I do a lot of market research, and this was no exception. I wanted a saw with some added capability and that's what I've got with the TS55R. I particularly wanted the ability to cut close up to a vertical surface and you've seen me demonstrate that I can do that to within 9 millimeters. I also particularly like this dual height gauge here which allows you to set it if you're on the guide rails or set it if you're just on the surface of the wood itself. What is a great bonus for me is the ability to set the angle of cut beyond 45 degrees or below zero, which is particularly useful when you're doing covers or whatever in an old house. The fact it takes the same guide rails, it takes the same saw blades, are an added bonus. The added dust collection capability, well, frankly, I hardly noticed because its predecessor was so jolly good in the first place. So overall, I'm absolutely delighted. The only criticism I have, just with so many things that Festival do, is that their instructions for this are accurate, but a little bit dry. I, I, I would like a few more words and a few more pictures, but that's just such a minor detail. Now, I got mine to go in my CMS unit to give me a portable table saw, and the ability to extract the saw from the CMS unit quickly and use it on the guide rails. So therefore I only need to take one saw away with me when I go away on various jobs. Well, Festival have got a winner here. I'm delighted with mine, as I'm sure you will be too. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.